All right, friends. I got some, uh, I got some stuff for you. So a common anxiety trope that I have been going through and that I've noticed other people have been going through as well is the, uh, the trope of decision paralysis. And mine specifically is, uh, I figured out it has something to do with time. A lot of the time when I'm deciding to do something, do a chore or a job, or some type of workflow thing, I am worried that I'm not doing the most time efficient thing. I'm not use utilizing my time efficiently. What that causes is decision paralysis. So I'm constantly making plans nonstop. And don't get me wrong, writing and planning is very good. However, there is a balance and most people don't know what they mean uh, when it comes to balance, when it comes to planning. If I find that I'm no longer in a flow state, when it no longer feels good to plan, when I start to feel unease or anxiety, that's usually when I'm having decision paralysis. And I'm making this video for, for everyone. You don't have to be a content creator. You don't have to be a business owner. You could be a student in high school or middle school or college. You're in elementary school. Please stop watching. And I thought I would mention the whole stop wasting time thing and decision paralysis topic because a lot of people do this they do this until they die really you see it all the time uh or not see it all the time as you hear about it what are one of the biggest regrets of older people it's that they did not take as many chances in life as they would have liked feel like they wasted their years their younger years they did not go on their adventure and to that i say to that i say you are much better off doing the thing if inefficiently inefficiently than not doing it at all. And usually there are some uh, some core beliefs that are the, the causes of the decision paralysis. One is a core belief with yourself. The other is a core belief about people in general. And the last one is a core belief about life. So let's make three examples. The first example is with yourself. I'm a loser. That's your core belief about yourself. It most likely came from childhood all of these core beliefs that you come up with, they're probably all from childhood. Now, if you say I'm a loser subconsciously, whatever thing you're trying to do, whatever you have anxiety over, you're just not going to do it because guess what? You're a loser. Your belief is whatever it is you're trying to do won't be good anyway, so it's not worth trying. Or at least it's not going to be good enough because you're a loser. The second has to do with people in general. A very common one has to do with cruelty. People are cruel. And uh, if people are cruel, guess what? If that's your conclusion, people will laugh at you or whatever it is you're trying to do. Let's say you're a Let's say you're an engineer at work, or maybe even not. You're just doing something at work. Well, if people are cruel, they're just going to make fun of whatever you do. You could be working at a store and all you have to do is stock some chips. If I use a fucking ladder, someone's going to come by and push me off. Or my boss is going to think that I stocked the chips wrong and get mad at me and fire me. The third one is life is a... Uh, well... I'm going to say the, the generalization with life is uh, usually that life is a struggle or life is pain. This one's the biggest one. If that is your conclusion, again, all of these conclusions most likely came from childhood, but could also have developed over time as you got older. But if your conclusion is life is a struggle or life is pain, well, that one's fucked because no matter what you do, you see everything as pain, so why even bother? Or, if you do bother, you spend too much time deliberating. Because you deliberate too much and don't take action, your life actually does become pain. All of these are self-fulfilling prophecies. So what do you do? What do you do with all of this uh, newfound knowledge? Well, you can have a safe conclusion, at least for myself. This is, works really well. And the safe conclusion is, life just is. Anything else we add to it, any other flavorings or seasonings we add to life, people, or conclusions about ourself, is just that. It is our conclusion. The universe, or whatever you want to call it, whatever you think life is, however you personify it, the universe doesn't give a fuck. I said it. The universe doesn't care what you label things. The universe just is. 
it's just gonna do its, uh, do its thing. And then some of you may be wondering, Architect, I can't even have decision paralysis because I can't even fucking focus on anything. I'm not motivated. Well, I learned something recently that has helped me out a lot. And it was learning what motivation actually is. And Dr. K from Healthy Gamer, thank you so much. I will link his video in the description and any other resources that I have used for this video. He said from uh, his countless hours, I'm sure, of research, that motivation comes down to one thing. Motivation is simply thinking about one thing, or holding on to a thought, rather, holding on to a thought for a prolonged period of time. And the longer you hold on to it, the more motivated you are. If I find myself getting distracted without much judgment of character on myself, I just get myself to think about the thing again. Like, for example, I'm having issues with car registration stuff, which I've been putting off for a while. It's technically registered and just they just haven't sent me the mail for whatever reason. I've been putting it off. What I find myself doing is just to keep thinking about it. And the last thing I want to bring up in this very disorganized video, but I will make it anyway so that I don't have decision paralysis and just improve over time, is that you should submit. What do I mean by that? Whatever plans you make, when you make proper plans for yourself and then you start to wonder or have anxiety as you're executing your plan, remind yourself to submit to whatever plans you come up with. Why should you submit and how do you deal with uh, what comes after that? This means if you made a plan, you submit to it, you execute it, and then you deal with whatever consequences, good or bad, and whatever fallout comes after uh, your actions. That is the game of life, friends, at least from what I've discovered so far. I'm only 26, so I don't know, uh, I don't, I've only been on Earth for 26 years. I've been sentient for less than that. We are playing this RPG of life, and from what I've discovered, I think that making a plan and submitting to the execution of that plan and then dealing with the consequences. That is literally just the RPG of life. You are playing an RPG of life. This is Skyrim. This is IRL. Thank you so much for... <laughs> this is very disorganized, but I'm very passionate about uh, subjects of helping people, self-improvement, psychiatry, psychology, business, any type of growth self-growth, growth mindset. Uh, I'm very passionate about that and I hope I, I hope I have helped someone today. So that's all friends. I will see you all soon.